Fourier transform. Fourier transform of xt is denoted by x omega. It is integration of xt e to the power minus j omega t from minus infinity to plus infinity. Now e to the power minus j omega t is cos omega t minus j sin omega t. So the expression of x omega can be written as integration of x t cos omega t from minus infinity to plus infinity minus j integration of integration of x t sin omega t from minus infinity to plus infinity. Here the first part of integration is the real part of x omega and the second part is the imaginary part of x omega. So we can write x omega as sum of its real and imaginary parts. This is equation 1, this one is uh, 2, where real part of x omega is integration of x t cos omega t from minus infinity to plus infinity. This is third equation. If I write x of x real of minus omega then it is integration of x t cos of minus omega t from minus infinity to plus infinity and cos of minus omega t is cos omega t. So the right hand side right hand side is x real x real omega x real of minus omega is x, x real of omega it means a real part of x omega is even function of even function of omega Similarly, we can write imaginary part of x omega imaginary part of x omega is minus minus of integration of x t sin omega t from minus infinity to plus infinity. Now if omega is replaced by minus omega or x imaginary of minus omega is minus of integration of x t sin 
माइनस ओमेगा टी एंड साइन ऑफ माइनस ओमेगा टी इज माइनस साइन ओमेगा टी सो द राइट हैंड साइड इज नाउ इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ एच टी साइन ओमेगा टी सो द राइट हैंड साइड इज माइनस ऑफ एक्स इमेजनरी ऑफ ओमेगा विच मीन्स द इमेजनरी पार्ट ऑफ इमेजनरी पार्ट ऑफ एक्स ओमेगा इज ऑट फंक्शन ऑफ ऑट फंक्शन ऑफ ओमेगा we have already written the expression of x omega in rectangular form that is real part of x omega plus its imaginary part now we can write x omega in polar form and in polar form it is mod of x omega e to the power j angle of x omega where mod of x omega is square root of sum of square of real part of x omega and the square of imaginary part of x omega now here if i replace omega by माइनस ओमेगा देन इन द राइट हैंड साइड ओमेगा इज रिप्लेस बाय माइनस ओमेगा सो मॉड ऑफ एक्स ऑफ माइनस ओमेगा x real of minus omega is x real omega so we will simply write x real omega now this is x imaginary of minus omega is minus of x imaginary of omega because the imaginary part of x omega is odd function of omega so now mod of x of minus omega is square root of square of real part of omega and uh, square of minus is plus so this is square of imaginary part of x omega so mod of x of minus omega is simply mod of x omega which means magnitude of x omega magnitude of fourier transform of xt that is x omega is e1 function of e1 function of omega now the phase of x omega or angle of x omega is tan inverse imaginary part of x omega divided by real part of x omega now if omega is replaced by minus omega then in the right hand side tan inverse x imaginary minus omega 
divided by x real of minus omega. Now the real part of x omega is even function. So re x real minus omega is x real omega. An imaginary part of x omega is odd function of omega. So x imaginary minus omega is minus of x imaginary omega. And tan inverse minus theta is minus of tan inverse theta. theta. So we can write angle of x of minus omega as minus of tan inverse x imaginary omega divided by x real omega. So the right hand side is angle of x of minus omega is minus of angle of x omega which means the angle or phase of x omega is odd function of odd function of omega. So real part of x omega and the magnitude of x omega are the even functions of omega and imaginary part of x omega and the angle or phase of x omega are the odd functions of omega.